Welcome to Before the Bid, your connection to some of the world's best livestock sales. Stay tuned as your host, Andy Howe, takes you coast to coast, stopping along the way to talk with producers about their operation, their livestock, and of course, their upcoming sales. Let's get to it. Welcome, livestock friends, to this Before the Bid podcast. And on this one, we are going down to Martin, Georgia, and we're going to talk about an online sale that's going to be on SC Online Sales, and it is going to go off on Tuesday, November the 1st, and it is called the Banners and Beyond Online Sale. And on the phone with me here for this one, I've got a guy that they have been doing sales for about five years now. They do a live sale in the spring, and then they do an online sale in the fall, and and so they have thrown this one up on SC Online. It is posted right now, so you can go on and see that one here. And so again, we're going down to Martin, Georgia, and we're going to be talking with Daryl Freeman here from the Banners and Beyond sale. And Daryl, uh, you guys have any rain in sight down there in Georgia? No, unfortunately not. We're pretty dry in this area of the country. Uh, people spitting hay, and I guess we're optimistically... Uh, dummies <laughs> <laughs> but uh you know that's that's farming right the good and bad at the same time and going from there right but, uh, it's tough you gotta love it right you do and uh as we talked a little earlier we we figure out different ways to to manage things and different ways to get along and make it all work that's right it you know you just uh, figure out a way to make it get by you know and I guess that's life, and we love the cattle business, we love farming, and we just go from there. I, I don't know anything else to do. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, uh, I think there's a, there's a lot of us in that boat as well. So, Daryl, why don't you start us out, tell us a little about your operation, tell us a little bit about who's involved in the operation, and where you started, and, and where you're headed to next. We started the Banners Beyond Sale. Five years ago, like you said, uh, live sale in the spring and fall, we have an online sale. Rick Woods, myself, and Matt Carish from Mississippi started it, mm -hmm. and uh, it's grown from there. And this sale we're having right now, there's four of us consigners, myself and my son, Justin, and my son, Sam. We own Freeman Cattle Company. Wood Loan is owned by Rick and Sharon Wood. Millstone Farm is Adam Andrews. He's about 20 miles from here, as well as Rick. And Southern Roots Cattle is owned by Willie. He's about 20 miles from here. Mm -hmm. And we've got a new guy that's just got in it in the last couple of years, and he's trying to convert from commercial cattle over to Simmental, Semangus, Dwayne Turner. Mm -hmm. And I think Rick is trying to mentor him and grow his program. We've sold some good cattle in the past that went on. You know, the main thing with our sale is good functional cattle that go on and make good mama cows. And as well as show heifers, we had a show heifer year before last that sold. And she ended up chick girls from Illinois, I think it is, bought her. And she was a winning this show heifer of the year purebred, some of all. Mm -hmm. And she was raised right around here by Kim Chastain and Kim didn't, unfortunately, she didn't have anything to sell this fall, but mm -hmm. uh, really hung our hat on her because she she done really good and uh, for the shit girls. And we tried to sell just, and mainly good performance cattle. Mm -hmm. You know, there could be some show heifers in there. And as you and I were talking earlier, end of the day, they've got to go to the pasture. And right. they win before then, that's great. Right. And with our sale, if, if there's any problems, call whoever you got it from and they'll work with you. The way we look at it is we want to treat somebody just like we'd want to be treated. Absolutely. You know? And that's worth a lot to me. I don't want to be treated wrong, and so I don't want to do anybody else wrong. Right. And, and that's, that's, that's worth a lot in my book. And we've got several good cattle in this sale and we just hope for everyone to watch and bid freely <laughs> right right absolutely yeah. to buy hay. 
right to get money to buy <laughs> yeah yeah so so you guys are are a simmental based and, and it looks like you guys have pretty much a lot of purebred simmentals and and started in that yeah yeah mainly everybody's herds are probably 95 percent simmental or semi-angus there's a maintainer in this sale but i think i'm pretty sure she had a simmental mom mm -hmm. i'm not sure but Rick Woods, I think Rick's been, we talked earlier, and this is like 26 years he's been in the Simmental business. So mm -hmm. He's been around a long time. And I, I'm myself and my sons, we've been doing it for about going on 10 years. Okay. And, and still learning every day. Right. But, right. Uh, now, are you guys a fairly large operation, a, a fairly small? What's What's that outlook? Everybody in the group runs between 30 to 70 cows, I okay. guess. Okay. Mama cows. I mean, it varies, but right. nobody's a great big operation. And and the only way to really have a sale is we're not big enough to have our own sale. Right. Is to get several people with, you know, together. And that was the idea behind the Banners and Beyond to start with. And mm -hmm. was three or four of us to get together and put together several lots and have a sale and mm -hmm. guys we can't keep them all <laughs> <laughs> right right absolutely and, and get your name out there and, and get some good cattle out there for other people to uh turn around and come back and and use you guys again yes sir and we appreciate them rick and i used to be a member of the cattleman's choice sale and that uh well dwight cooper cnc farms basically it was his sale we, we were members and that sale dismantled and uh rick and i were talking and we we needed a place to market our cattle and so mm -hmm. we came up with this and mm -hmm. it's worked really well the past several years and we're trying it again right right and you guys have a a larger group uh, obviously and you kind of put some of those in here but you guys have a larger group for the other yeah. sales that you have had and, and some of them just don't have something yeah. for this sale but but you guys are gonna keep going on with that and and keep using that group and, and maybe growing that group is that the outlook yes sir yeah there there's three or four more that's usually sales with us but they didn't have anything this fall to put online and try to sell and i totally understand that and uh Usually in the spring sale, the live sale, yeah, we'll have three, four more consigners and, you know, we'll have 60 to 70 lots and, okay. and try to keep it down in the, on the online to maybe 15 to 20. Right. Well, then anyway. Right. So okay. it, it worked out great this year and I appreciate everybody trying to put good ones in and get everything going and having them look good. And we're, learn as you go and right. uh, we just hope it goes good this year and appreciate all the past customers and look forward to new customers do you guys sell some some bulls in that live sale in the spring or are you all mainly females yeah maybe again? usually maybe one or two okay but really we don't promote and sell bulls in that sale okay. i mean a lot of bulls okay you know, we we have sold them before and a couple of years ago, a guy, he sold a, a nice bull to Mississippi. Mm -hmm. And but the majority of them in that sale in the spring is pears and breads. And they may be a few open heifers, but it's mainly pears and breads and bread heifers and genetic lots. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay, we've sold cattle all over the country in both sales. So, and hadn't had a Anybody, nobody's told me in, in person that they had a bad experience. Right. I'll put it that way. Well, that's good. So you got, you've got a good group together uh, of yes, guys sir. that stand behind those, and that is worth its weight in gold. Yeah, I totally agree. Right. I totally agree. Most of these outfits in there are you guys spring calvers then, for the most part? Uh, mainly uh, fall calvers. Oh, okay. And these, these I'd say 75, 25 spring, a uh, fall and spring. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mainly everybody in this neck of the woods calves in fall, and then you're going to have a few that 
fall into the spring category or the winter. Right. You know, but I'd say 75% of people cave in September, October, November around here. Okay. So that may be why that, that spring sale might be a little larger. Is that is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's harder to get cattle born in the spring around here for a sale, per mm-hmm. se, because there's not as many to pick from mm-hmm. spring borns right and as as you well know not all of them are the greatest in the world i guess you'd say right i mean you know they're good functional cattle and i'd say like you was talking about the majority of calves are born in the fall around here okay but you guys have enough springs, and, and there's a few falls in this one to, to put together for, yeah, for yeah. this sale. So uh, just another outlet to uh, market some of these cattle and get them out there. Yeah, like there's a heifer in here from Mr. Turner. She's coming up on two-year-old. She's calved already and had her baby. And mm-hmm. from talking to Mr. Turner, she's good to go, her and the calf both. So, good. I mean, that's, uh, you know, that. That that's the name of the game. A uh, heifer that had her first calf and no problems with her or the calf, and right. she's doing good and raising her calf and no problem. Good. I think that's lot ten. Right. He's going to offer her up as a cow calf pair. So, yeah. And uh, I I guess if if they want and and we can get into that a little bit later too. But if they want, he can probably get them another picture and things of the cow and calf uh, if if they yeah. need that. I'm sure you can't. Yeah, that should be no problem. Sure. Yeah, listed here on SC why uh, she's pictured and videoed as a as a pregnant cow. I'm assuming because she doesn't have enough udders. So uh, yeah, yeah. So you can yeah. And that picture was t- probably taken over a, a month or six weeks ago, sure. and before she bagged up and had her baby. And sure. so I'm sure he has no problem with getting a picture with her with the calf. Okay. Uh, and, and I guess some, some housekeeping things on this sale. With these guys that are consigning, these cattle are at the different locations. They're not all coming to your location, correct? No, sir. They're at the consigner's house. We're all within 25 miles of each other. Okay. But they're at different locations of the farms. And like I say, you can come to everybody's within 30 minutes of each other. Okay. So if they want to take a day and come look at all of these, why... Uh, absolutely possible to to go around and see them. Yeah, you can ride around. We're all within half an hour of each mm-hmm. other anyway. Okay, be pretty easy. Okay, but you're you're kind of managing all of this and and putting this all together for these guys, and and so so that's why we're that's why we're calling it a Martin Georgia, and and that's why we're talking to you, right? I guess so. I <laughs> I, I I got nominated to do this. Okay. <laughs> Well, yeah. Well, that sounds good. Well, I know we sure appreciate it. Well, thank you, sir. Yeah, appreciate you doing that. And uh, anything else we need to know about the operation or or any of these other operations before we get into some of these cattle? Pretty neat deal, I think, is Millstones. The name of their farm came from them finding, when they bought the farm, they found Millstones Mm -hmm. buried in the ground. And they were trying to come up with a name for the farm, so they named it Millstone. Adam Andrews owns it him and his dad and his family, and that's what they came up with. And something you might be interested in, Willie Crump, Southern Roots Cattle, Willie's day job is he's a teacher. Oh, yeah. Well, that's cool. (laughs) He's a science teacher in high school, I think. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, that sounds good. Well, I have to call Willie, and we'll just we'll swap stories and things. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you, you guys would have a lot to talk about. Yeah. yeah, we had a teacher on a couple of weeks ago. Good deal. Okay, let's let's take it back for just a second because okay. the millstone deal for some of those people that might not understand, what is a millstone and and what does it do? Certain millstones that they was used years ago to grind wheat, barley to make uh, flour. Okay. Some of those millstones, they used to sharpen axes, the old tools that they used back in the day. Sure. Sharpening the knives. I mean, but it's just a huge, big stone, Hmm. round shaped, and they would mount it on wheels and a pulley and a belt. Sure. And just hold it up against it and sharpen stuff. And 
or grind stuff, you know, put right. two of them together and grind stuff in between it. It was back way before my time. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Mine, mine as well. And, and I'm going to guess a lot of the people that are listening. So, uh, yeah. yeah. So they just, they, it was like those guys just took those stones out and threw them down and buried them. Is, is, that, is that kind of the story you think? I guess. Or, you know, it could have been an old farm mm -hmm. back in the day and, and it's been bulldozed over and right. buried and they found it. Oh, wow. That's cool. They got them on display down there, some of them. Yeah, yeah, right in their driveway. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and I would say. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, so see those when you when you go down to Millstone, get a little history lesson on there. That's right. Yes, sir. That's really neat. Yeah, well, I'll have to call Willie and say, hey, Willie, tell me, give me some teaching strategies, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So you guys, uh, again, you guys have had these sales for five years and, and sold some yeah. successful cattle and, and really growing your market down there and, and moving these cattle all around the United States. Yeah, like I said, two years ago, a heifer that sold in the sale was uh, winning the show heifer of the year, mm -hmm. which made us feel good because it wasn't like she won 10 little jackpot shows around here. Right. She won, you know, in Louisville and Denver and some tall breeders sweepstakes and big shows mm -hmm. and it made us feel good she came from a small breed right yeah absolutely and and again selling you know selling a lot of functional cattle and cattle that are going to go out in the pasture and and work for these guys and and produce uh some of these cattle that maybe they just want functional cattle or maybe they want show cattle and and they can get that from from these cattle right no doubt in my mind right these cattle will produce good base to roll off of yes sir i think so all right well daryl let's get into some of these cattle again we've got the banners and beyond online sale on sc and it's going to go off on november 1st it is posted so feel free if you want pause this just a second and you want to go to sc and you want to look down through here and watch these videos and look at these cattle as we go through these and daryl's gonna talk about them for us and and tell us what he knows about them and and you guys can make your own judgments on them and bid on them and whatever it is that you need to do but let's start out with this lot one and this one does come from you daryl and uh we have got a ruby's currency sired female here and we've got a fall female uh here yes. to start this lineup yes sir uh she's a big soggy thick heifer she's feminine up front she's going to do some winning but her main focus as i don't see any reason she shouldn't make a whale of a cow right she's calm cool collected she's quiet i have no problem and no doubt in my mind she's going to be a tremendous cow right uh, and she'll make a show after. She is halter broke. I know that. She's good to go. And her mother was a legendary donor cow for the Tingles who sold out a few years ago. And her daddy's was a real high dollar bull. No doubt in my mind, she's going to be a whale of a cow. And she's going to be a good show heifer right now. Mm -hmm. But uh, You guys have not had her out at all then? No, okay. no, she's never left the farm. Okay. She's, none of these heifers have ever been to a show, I don't think. Okay, okay. But yeah, I absolutely agree. She's got cow power written all over, just how powerful she is and, and stout and massive. And look at the bone that this one's got. Yeah, she's quite big for her age. And she just, and one word, you said it, stout. Mm -hmm. I mean... I see her every day, and she's just been that way since she was a baby cat. Mm -hmm. You know, she's one of them when you walked in the pasture, you said, dang. And, <laughs> <laughs> Who's that uh, one? <laughs> yeah, I have a grandson that was showing. He's not this year, and that's the only reason that she's been offered is because I don't have any family members showing right mm -hmm. now. And I said, well, I want to sell a good one, and I talked my son into it, and we put her in the sale. Right. <laughs> Right. The reason to raise a good one is to sell a good one, right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to sell them, but yeah, a I, whale. absolutely, absolutely agree. But yeah, what a whale of a cow there! If even if they don't want to show her, uh, but but yeah, I absolutely agree. She can she can go out and and do some well in the show ring, and yeah, I absolutely agree. Turn her out just as functional as she is, stout, deep. She's a nice one. I enjoy her. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, do we want to talk the lot, too, as well, while we're right there? 
a lot too. She's a very fancy heifer. I've seen her one time when we went and looked at them. In my opinion, I think she'll make somebody a show heifer. Mm-hmm. She is she's also going to be a tremendous cow. Right. She's soggy, big bone, big belly, wide back. You know, I was watching her that day and she tracks really well, if I remember correctly. Mm-hmm. And she's got that blaze face that everybody loves. Right. <laughs> She's a good heifer, and she's like a February, if I remember correctly. Yep, February 28th. Yeah, so right at the end of February, and she comes straight out of the woodlawn. She's all woodlawn bred there, uh, at least where she is here listed on SC. Yes, sir. I remember Rick talking about that. He was really proud of her. Right. Right, but she's she's a good one as well. And uh, let's not skip over this lot three. We've got a, a data bank here, and this one's actually a maintainer, which she's kind yeah, of a little bit of an outlier here for this sale that's got a lot of semis in it. But, boy, you talk about a sharp one and a rip-fronted one. I'd love to see this one next spring as bred mm-hmm. because she's green as a gourd. She's long neck, long hip, big bone, hairy out. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't want to say a bad word. But she's got a lot of hair. <laughs> she does, yes. <laughs> she just needs time and feed. Right. That's all she needs. And it really, I mean, the heifer is in super shape, but her best days are ahead of her. I'll say that. Mm-hmm. She's going to be a really, really good show heifer, mm-hmm. I think. Right. Yeah. And when I went searching down through those, I thought, here's the future heifer. Uh, the one yeah. that just just take her home and feed her, and and you're gonna enjoy this one, and enjoy the future that she's got in her, cause she, cause she does, and and like you said on the on the video, she's a little green, you can tell that, and yeah. the video was was quite a bit earlier, so she might be one that yeah. you you want to go look at. Yeah, that's right. Right. She might be the sleeper of the sale. Right. Yeah, but she's pretty good. Uh, I I enjoy her a lot. Well, Daryl, let's go down and talk about the lot five female here. And you want a little blaze on the face, a little white on the face. Yes. Uh, we've yes. got a Logic 5 e sired female here, and we're looking at a February 10th heifer. And she's a, what, she's a 5.8 semi, 3.8 Angus. Right. She She's going to be a show heifer. And what makes me so that is the way she's made, the way she travels. And she'll turn into a tremendous cow because her mother... I mean, I guess everybody says this. Oh, I can't miss cow. Her mother has literally not missed. Mm -hmm. Her mother has produced show heifer. This makes three show heifer she's produced. And then her mama has a bull calf year before last. That bull calf goes on game test. And he's a top performing semangus bull. So it tells me that she can produce show heifers and performance cattle and if she can do both that's the name of the game and this heifer is going to carry on that lineage and this heifer's long neck long back she's a little green because she hadn't been on feed that long but Mm -hmm. she's pretty nice i'll just i don't want to brag on my stuff too much but this one is she's going to be good right well i'll brag on her just a little bit i absolutely agree with what you're saying and and watch this video and watch this thing track out I mean, she absolutely yeah. fills that track, and, and she just really, really nice on the move, really attractive on the move. I'll probably get in trouble for selling her because she's my wife's favorite. <laughs> 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 and she would just look at me and said, I can't believe you're selling Shimmer's calf. Right. Well, got to pay the bills. <laughs> right, right, right. And get, get some good ones out there. And she is, she, uh, I really, uh, again, I, I really like that one. Yes, sir. Well, thank you. Yeah, she'll be her high percent. And uh, if her, her mama, we should have had a picture of her mama there too. Her mama is an ex-show heifer. She was champion of the state in like 2015, I think, as a low percent semi. And she's well bellied. And she's passing it on to her offspring. And that's the mark of a good cow, in my opinion. And made it to different bulls every year. And we need to flush her, but uh, you can't flush everything. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> uh, understand and agree with that. Yeah. But yeah, one of those that's not miss. And, and this one, boy, she didn't miss on this one. This one's nice. Thank you, sir. Really, really nice. And yeah, she does. She's got that little blaze on her. You're going to catch, they're going to catch her when she walks in. Yeah, she's got that wow factor. Mm-hmm. She's got enough white on her face to, to make a judge look twice. Right. I guess to pitch her attention. And, but like my wife says, that's my favorite. That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Right. Yeah. We uh, we've talked a little cow power, but but boy, you get down to this lot six, and again, we've got another one out of the Woodlawn operation, and uh, another yeah. one that's Woodlawn bred, Woodlawn Commando, and we got a February female here. She's a five eight semi, a, a red one, and boy, she's got cow power written all over her. Rick Woods is really really proud of this heifer, and he should be. Mm-hmm. I saw her, and she's a tank. Mm-hmm. for her age and the way she's made and she's got cow power written all over her in my opinion she's better than her picture and video i know she's better than her picture in her video you can see glimpses of it but she's a really 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 good heifer i think mm-hmm. i guess rick says that's he regrets <laughs> selling her he really <laughs> likes it i'll put it that way <laughs> It, you got one in here to hurt you and one in here to, that hurts him. Well, you got two of them, but uh, yeah, some of the, <laughs> the ones that they hurt to sell, why? There's a guy that we had talked to, and the cow, he's been in cow business a long time, and he told me, he said, well, Daryl, sell till it hurts. Right. And then he sell it. <laughs> I said, oh, I understand what he's talking about now. Right, right. Because you sell the good ones and you're like, uh, I don't know if I want to or not. Right. But you can't keep all of them. And producing is the name of the game. You're right. This one again, cow power written all over this one. Yes, sir. Yeah, really like that one as well. Let's skip down and let's go down to one of Dwayne's here. And we're going to go right. down to that lot 10. We we hit on her just a bit. She's going to sell as a cow-calf pair. She's a, a half semi. Yes, sir. And she's got a champion hill cow behind her. Is that correct? Yes, sir. That's the way I hadn't seen her pedigree in front of me, but from talking to him. And Mr. Turner has been in the business a short period of time. He is trying to sell some of his better ones. And he told Rick, well, Rick went and picked out them. And he said, they're not showstoppers, but these are really, really, really good cattle. And this heifer he's selling, she laid down and had her calf, and the calf's fine. She's fine. Got a nice udder on her. She's milking. She's feminine. There's nothing wrong with her. I mean, she's a good heifer. And <laughs> right. Good functional. The homework's already done. Yeah. She's feminine. Had her first calf. Got her whole life in front of her. And... I- think he told me she had a bull calf if i'm not mistaken okay and mr turner is a really good guy and i'm sure if anybody has any questions to call mr turner his numbers on the sale page sure yeah right down there on the lot page so so yeah give him a call yes sir you know there's some of those cattle that are that are really in demand and some of those cattle that are going to be hard to find with some of these genetics here. And you've got one of those in this lot 11 that comes from the Southern Roots. we got a something about Mary here, February female. Yeah, from Southern Roots, Willie Crump. He had actually, I think he bought this. She was a baby calf on a pair he had purchased. She's a something about Mary. Her mother is a heck of a cow. This heifer was actually at my house last week. Big bellied, moderate framed, a very nice heifer. She just needs some attention. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say attention, but she's a little green. She's young. She is very powerful for her age, I think. Mm-hmm. I think she's going to be a well of a cow. And there's something about Mary Kettle or some of the hottest cattle on the market there is. You're and, right. And I think think it, willie's got some of his semen in the sale mm-hmm. also mm-hmm. yeah we got some semen down there we'll talk about yeah she's one of them that she was here when i clipped them all last week and she's one of them that you turned around twice when she walked by said, what what is that you mm-hmm. know what is that big belly effort and he told me and i said okay <laughs> she is a very nice effort and if i remember correctly she walked good she tracked good and very calm quiet had no problem with her right you know if a little kid wanted to show her i see no problem with it she just needs a little tlc and a little time spent with her but she's quiet as she can be Mm -hmm. right and i agree she gets around this pen on this video quite well reaches out fills that track up and uh really good looking effort on the move as well yes sir Right. And, and yeah, being a Sam, why, uh, those cattle are hot. Yeah. 
We've got a couple other breads in this sale as we go down through there, a couple other heifers as we go down through this offering. And, and then when we get down, we've got some embryo packages. We've got some semen. I've uh, got some, some other genetics that we're going to sell on this sale. Uh, Southern Roots has got some embryo packages by a hot bull silent partner and uh, the donor Clinique, I think. Willie got the cow came originally from Hill Brands up in Minnesota. I think I'm correct on that. Okay. And it seems like the embryos are all at uh, Transova and Iowa, so it'll be no problem to ship them. I'm not sure about if he's got any of those uh, silent partner clinic caves on the ground yet. I don't think he does. I know he's got some pearl heifer that a kid showed for him a couple years ago. She's a really nice ground pounding cow. She was mm -hmm. big belly, big rib. She's a bankroll daughter, I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. My mind's not as good as it used to be in remembering all this stuff, mm -hmm. especially about other people's cattle. <laughs> it's <laughs> right. hard enough to keep up with my own, but I understand. Uh, Pearl Deal, uh, I think he's selling Justify of uh, embryos and, mm -hmm. and another deal he's selling Silent Partners. Yep. 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 Yeah. Okay. And Clinique is uh, Silent Partner and Red Answer. And I've seen some red answer calves, and they're pretty, pretty dang nice. So, mm -hmm. in the semen millstone, the redstone bull came from Larry Lee out in Missouri. He looks awesome. I hadn't seen any of his calves, but I think I may try to buy some of that semen myself. <laughs> from <the red> <laughs> okay, well, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, Adam Andrews at Millstone is selling Justify mm -hmm. semen, and Justify's got some really really good calves and southern roots is selling some semen by their young bull maverick mm -hmm. and maverick is a son of remedy in my opinion which it, it worth a whole lot but uh, i think maverick's gonna be one of the hottest bulls in breed and in a short period of time mm -hmm. what i've seen of him he's very complete he won it like the junior show or eastern regionals this summer and they're collecting him now. He is very, very, very good bull. I've heard a lot of them say he's probably the best remedy son that's going right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, good deal. So, yeah, you can start in on the ground level right here and, and that's right. get some of the first stuff, right? That's right. Right. They just started collecting him not very long ago, so this might be some of the – I mean, it, yeah. it is the first offer to uh, this bull, right? Yeah, I I think what Willie Crump had told me was they're collecting him, and if you buy the semen, you're not supposed to get it tomorrow, but they're collecting him right now. Okay. You know, I mean, it, they may not have enough on hand today, mm -hmm. but they, you know, you'll be getting your semen just no problems. Okay. You know, he's a young bull, so, mm -hmm. and they're collecting him. They've already got some semen on hand, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, that's where they're going to work that. And Willie's also selling the executive order, and everybody knows what he's done in the breed. Mm -hmm. And he's selling some something about Mary Seaman, which is very hard to get. Sure. And everybody knows what he's produced. So. Right. Right. And some pay the price, Seaman, and some profit. And profit, he is one of the higher valued bulls in the breed, and I think Willie's selling a couple of straws of his semen. And all the semen and genetics embryos will be stored at, at Transover from mm -hmm. Willie and Adam Bo. Okay. So it should be no problem to, you know, it's all centralized. Right. It may ship anywhere. Right. But, uh, yeah, Transover, they ship a little bit of that stuff every once in a while. So, yeah. Uh... <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, so just they'll call out there, get it, get it figured out where it needs to go, and uh, put yeah. it together if they need to, or however they need to work that. And yeah, they have their own FedEx truck, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. 
<laughs> and airplane. <laughs> right. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, again, uh, we're talking the Banners and Beyond online sale on November 1st on SC. And uh, it's going to start going off, as I said, there on November 1st. And Daryl, you talked about these cattle. They're not in the same place. But but what happens if we get a, one from Daryl and we get one from Millstone and we get one from Southern Roots? What, what can we do with that? Are we going to have to go around and pick all those up? Or what's the plan on that? No, it, we'll work with truckers trucking anywhere any, anywhere they want to go i mean we can centralize the cattle and put them all in one location or if three needs to go to iowa mm -hmm. you know they would all go on the same truck or trailer the hauling should be no problem okay i mean we'll get them together and everybody works together and we'll we'll make it happen okay and it's the cheapest rate we can find right <laughs> right and uh help papers everything will be good to go okay well that sounds good yeah daryl anything else we need to know about the sale need to know about these cattle yeah, i just welcome everybody to join us and bid freely and if you have any questions call any of the consigners and everybody will be glad to talk to you chat with you or whatever mm -hmm. or just talk cattle <laughs> right right well, that sounds good. Yeah, and, and maybe even get them some more if they want another picture or they want anything like that. Why, uh, sure. that can be done as well. Sure. Okay. It just like with the cow and calf, you know, just that can be arranged and we'll put it up or he'll take a picture, whatever we sure. need to do. Sure. Okay. And they can find you guys on, on Facebook as well and see some of the things that, that you guys have done. I failed to mention that earlier. You guys do have yes. a Banners and Beyond Facebook page. Yes, sir. My son, Sam, takes care of that, and he tries to keep it updated and keep it looking back at that for updates or whatever need be. And he keeps it updated and checks it all the time, which I don't, but sure. <laughs> I don't have time. Sure. <laughs> but, sure. <laughs> Like I said, any questions you have, feel free to call me. Or if you see a lot that you've got a question about, sure. If you can't get a hold of me, call the consigner. I, sure. Call somebody. Sure. Do you <laughs> know? Do you know? You, you may not be a big Facebooker, but do you know how else does Woodlawn and and Millstone? Do those guys have Facebook pages and things as well that they can I know, find some more information? I know on? Woodlawn does. Okay. Hillstone does and Southern Roots do. Okay. I'm not sure about Mr. Turner. I'm okay. not sure. I know they do. Okay. So people can go search around and find those and, and find a little more information about their operations as well. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, that sounds good. That that give everybody okay. a little bit of time. Look through you guys' Facebook. Look through the SC sale. Go find those other Facebook pages. Look through those. Yeah, a guy can take half an evening doing that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that sounds good. Daryl, I sure appreciate you getting with us and getting this thing put together and, and appreciate you talking to us here uh, on the Banners and Beyond sale. Sounds good. And I appreciate your help and talking to me. All right. And I enjoyed it. Well, we sure appreciate it. And again, the Banners and Beyond on SC going off on November 1st. And uh, go on there, check all those cattle out. It is posted right now. And we want to thank Daryl and we want to thank the other operations that put these cattle together. And we want to thank you for listening to another edition of Before the Bid Podcast. Welcome to Before the Bid, your connection to some of the world's best livestock sales. Stay tuned as your host, Andy Howe, takes you coast to coast, stopping along the way to talk with producers about their operation, their livestock, and of course, their upcoming sales. Let's get to it.